out your dad! Bring out your dad! Ah! <laughs> Ninepence! Ah! He's not dead! <laughs> I don't want to go on the cart! <laughs> Listen, we can't take him! <laughs> I feel happy! I can't, I can't remember the skit. Uh, it was in my head and then I started and then it was like, okay. Yeah, Optane, dead, I don't know. This is 960 gigabytes. This was on sale for, I think it was 350. I had a $50 off Newegg link, so I used it to get the 960 gig Optane. And this is first gen Optane, you know, PCIe 3.0, NVMe, U.2. Let's do a side by side with this and a traditional NAND flash in an AMD system. Wait, you can't use Optane in an AMD system? Yes, you, you totally can. This kind of Optane because it's, it's so very large. You can use the smaller ones for acceleration, but you can't use the Intel software for acceleration on an AMD system. But that doesn't mean you can't use other software like Primo Cache, which we covered in the past. But at 960 gigabytes, that's big enough to be a boot drive, like primary drive with some games on it. I mean, larger would be nice. 400-ish dollars for 960 gigabytes is still a steep price. And the performance of this versus say the current cutting edge, which is the Samsung 990 Pro, you know, it doesn't look super great on paper. If you look at the transfer rate of our 990 Pro, almost eight gigabytes per second, this is a pokey little one quarter the speed when we're talking about transfer rates. And yet when we talk about latency, our Optane is about twice as fast as even our 990 Pro. Super low latency, super high number of random IOPS. The devil's in the details. So it's not quite dead yet, and it's not going to go on the cart. With apologies to Monty Python. The whole reason we're doing this Optane stuff is because they are on fire sale. Yeah, Intel is sort of winding things down just a little bit. Did another video on using these smaller M.2, 118 gig and 58 gig. Uh, you know, M.2 drives for your ZFS pool. You can use these for your metadata special device so that they don't wear out and they work really well for that, as the posts on the Level 1 forum can attest. So naturally, how does Optane perform as a boot drive in 2022? It is a bit old news though, I've, I've reviewed these in the past. See, these are my Star Citizen ones, and these are just the ones that I still have the boxes for. The 905s came after the 900, these are 900, 905 came later, it's like, oh look, so look how fast Star Citizen loads. Yeah, fistful of Optane. This is even enterprise grade Optane. You can get those, you know, P1600X or these are the P4800X uh, previous gen. I even have a P5800X second gen Optane in my main work machine. Those drives are really expensive. Those are not on fire sale. But the other ones are and you can buy them and that works out really well. Now, one way that benchmarks are a little misleading is that if you do read benchmarks, a lot of the time you are read benchmarking system RAM. See, any operating system worth its salt, Windows included, if you have a lot of extra memory, Windows will use the memory that you're not otherwise using for programs as a file system cache, which will make your computer really fast. So if on a clean reboot, you need to open, say, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, it's gonna run a lot different the second time than it does the first, or even just rebooting the machine. You reboot the machine, and that boot process feels different on an Optane drive than it does on a regular drive, even even a fancy high-end drive like our Samsung 990 Pro. Once you've got your system running and you've opened a few programs and closed them and switched gears a little bit, if you have extra system memory, it does improve the responsiveness of the system because any extra memory that you had ends up being used as a cache for stuff that's happening on your hard drive. What Optane can do is make it almost as snappy and responsive for those low Q depth latency sensitive situations as if stuff was already cached in main memory. It's sort of weird because this was also kind of the proposition against Optane in the early days. It's like Optane is so expensive, 
you'd be better off just to buy more memory because once you've actually run something for the first time, having more memory is going to end up being more advantageous for speed than having the lower latency drive. On these first gen Optane, even when they launched, the uh, you know the speed was nice, but the I.O., you know, we're talking about two to three gigabytes per second here on this PCI Express Gen 3 device, doesn't even saturate the full PCI Express 3.0 connection. Whereas now we have these tiny gumstick devices that are doing eight gigabytes per second, which is darn near saturating PCI Express 4.0 by four, not even 3.0. And yet we're still having this conversation in 2022. It's pretty interesting stuff. Obtain boot time. Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five, six Mississippi, seven Mississippi, eight Mississippi, ten Mississippi, eleven Mississippi, twelve Mississippi, thirteen Mississippi, fourteen Mississippi, fifteen Mississippi, sixteen Mississippi, seventeen Mississippi, eighteen Mississippi, nineteen Mississippi, twenty Mississippi, twenty one Mississippi, three Mississippi, twenty four Mississippi, forty five Mississippi. 7 Mississippi, 28 Mississippi. Oh, it was this nonsense. Ah! I have to do it again. Stupid windows. So that was fast. Hey, uh, updates underway. It's the same thing. Actually, this might be good because the first one was also doing the same Windows update. Minute two, minute three, minute five. Hey, minute seven. Well, actually, I think we got lucky with this. This is great. Ah! All right, we're getting ready for not Optane, not a Windows Update boot. About 56 seconds-ish. Maybe a little less. We'll look, we'll look at that in uh, closed captioning replay. Yes, it's the same stuff that was installed. It's just hidden on the desktop. It's the same. It's the same image. The Windows, the coincidental Windows update doesn't convince you. It did also upset Steam that I cloned it. It was like, you need to sign in again. It's like, yeah, you're, it's a different C drive. Sorry. About five seconds to get that, I guess. Well, you can probably tell from the timeline better than I can. Let's see that Optane boot time one more time. <laughs> wow. Kind of nuts. And this is first gen Optane. P1500X, second gen Optane, even though it's insanely expensive, 
second generation Optane has the eight gigabytes per second throughput as well as the insane low latency. But game load time is a little bit of a mixed bag. If you look at the game load times, it's not necessarily as impressive. Shadow of the Tomb Raider is a particularly well optimized game, which means that you're not going to see Optane really benefit you tremendously when you're loading. Unlike Star Citizen, which was included in the advertising material when these things originally launched. That's because Star Citizen was wildly unoptimized. It was just bouncing around the drive all at once. If your game is well optimized, when it has to go to load a level, it can do that linear read. That thing that runs at 8 gigabytes per second. And so, drives like the 990 Pro, which can hit that, you know, flat plank run speed of 7 gigabytes per second, will outstrip Optane drives like this. But for things that are poorly optimized or initial launch of a game, generally launching the game as opposed to loading a level, the uh, game launch is not really as well optimized. Game developers just don't spend very much time optimizing the load time, usually. GTA 5 is a great example of that. From zero to launching GTA 5. Oh, uh, not that, this. It'll take it longer to connect to the Rockstar game service than actually load or launch, which is kind of funny. But also very sad, because Rockstar really could do some work to optimize this. Remember the whole JSON? <laughs> Remember the whole JavaScript loading scenario? Okay. Loaded. That's pretty quick. Again. You gotta disable all this nonsense. There's a way to do that. Why is GTA 5 so much faster than Shadow of the Tomb Raider? Because GTA 5 is wildly unoptimized. Remember the whole JavaScript thing where, oh yeah, downloading this JavaScript from the store was really slow because they're not parsing the multi-megabyte text file properly. Optimized versus unoptimized. Star Citizen versus everything else. But how cool is it to be able to launch games that aren't cached in memory basically instantaneously? Actually, Cosmeteer's loading is fairly optimized, so... That can actually be faster on the 990 sometimes. Now to be sure that level of snappiness is not as important to everybody as it is to me. I'm just very impatient and I also multitask by opening and closing things a lot. So I still like first gen Optane for these kinds of things. I like these larger 900 gigabyte drives for things like uh, database drives as well for, you know, home lab. I'm going to run some, you know, real stuff from work, but just to try to find a performance anomaly or find something wrong with it or whatever. It's nice to have those for testing, but then it's also kind of disappointing because nothing in the cloud is ever actually that fast. It's like, well, my home MySQL server is faster than production. Yeah, well, yeah, but it's, <laughs> that's how it goes. I'm Wendell, this is level one, and even if you have no intention to buy an Optane, maybe now it's a little clearer why everybody like me was really excited for it. Optane's definitely not a product for everybody, it is kind of sad that everything's on fire sale now because of the liquidation and everything else because they're, you know, the consumer Optane drives. Not really a thing anymore. But uh, it's hard to argue with that. When you're looking at the Q-Depth 1 performance, when I say Q-Depth 1 performance, this is what I'm talking about. Q-Depth 1, random I.O. Very low I.O. latency. Doesn't mean it's got the IOPS, doesn't mean it's got the... Uh, the seven gigabytes, eight gigabytes per second, you know, flat out speed. But that low IO latency really does make the machine feel faster. I'm Wendell, this is level one. Good luck with your Optane purchase, or maybe not. I'm signing out, you can find me in the level one forums.